Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how I do my individual crochet faux locks. I am absolutely obsessed with this hairstyle. This is the exact hairstyle that I mentioned in my how to grow your hair in less than two years video. I wore this style for a complete year and my hair grew tremendously from just leaving it alone and leaving it protected. So I've already done the perimeter of her head and I'm just going to go ahead and do the middle to fill everything in. And I like to do the braids in the middle a little bit bigger than the perimeter just to speed up time. And this section of the hair is pretty much unseen. And once everything is complete, everything blends smoothly. So just make sure you watch it to the end. So first I like to go ahead and plait the hair all the way down to I get to a point towards the end and once I get to the end I like to add a piece of the free tress curly hair just because with the crochet locks the ends of the hair tend to fly away sometimes and being that they fly away I like to add that curly hair on the end just to make sure it when it does fly away that it looks like it's supposed to be that way with the curly hair you know being in there and not just a braid so I just feed the curly hair in like a regular feed in braids and just tie the hair off so the hair won't come loose. After I have completed her hair, I do go back in and fill in these parts with more crochet hair and you'll see that part and that method later on in the video. So now I'm going to take that crochet hair and I'm going to stick my finger in the pre-loop and then I'm going to take my needle and slide it through the root of the braid and go ahead and pull the lock hair through and then I'm going to pull the lock hair and the client's hair through that loop and then tighten it. Then I'm going to take the lock hair and I'm going to unravel it a little as I go just so I can re-wrap it around the client's hair. And I'm pretty much just going to do that all the way down to the end and making sure all of the braid and the curly hair or the curly ends are wrapped inside of the lock. And then once I've completed wrapping the hair around the client's hair, I like to go back and rough up the lock hair a little bit just as a form of re-locking the hair and setting the hair, making sure that the client's hair do not peek through. Then I also like to twist the hair again and clip it off just as another form of locking and setting the hair. Being that your hair is pretty much protected, all of your hair is pretty much within the crochet locks and everything except for the roots. So your hair is not exposed to like manipulation or anything of the environment. It's just, you know, chilling inside of the crochet locks. And to me, this is like the number one protective style for me. Like you can get sew-ins or the regular crochet method and your hair will still be you know not exposed at all but to me with the crochet the regular crochet method you really don't get the versatility that you can with the individual crochet and again to me I still feel like this is on the top line of the regular you know crochet method as far as like your hair being protected I've worn these locks for three months straight and have seen tremendous results from these and I've never had any problems with breakage or any of that with when I've worn those locks or worn these locks for that amount of time. De of course it definitely depends on the person and you just have to make sure you pay attention to your own hair but being that these um, allow you to still get to your scalp and do your maintenance with your um, scalp and stuff like that 
as far as like washing the hair or oiling the hair or doing any of that such that you feel like you need to do the only thing you won't be able to get to is your ends and again I've worn these locks for a three month period and I never had any experience with like breakage or any of that my my ends actually looked at its best when it was in these locks because it was just protected and not exposed to any manipulation whatsoever so yeah you are able to wash these locks for a while I wouldn't wash my locks I would actually go the full three months without washing my hair and I only did that really a couple of times when I was pregnant and when I was delivering just because I did not have time for my hair anyway so I did experiment with washing the hair um, back about a few months ago and the hair actually did very well when I washed the hair like the ends and everything the curly ends actually were refreshed and the curls bounced back of course with this hair being synthetic hair this hair tends to kind of get a little matted like the curly part on the end can get matted sometimes when I did experiment with washing the hair it made the curls look uh, 10 times better so definitely you are able to get this hair wet and go swimming with this hair um, wash it if you feel like you need to get to your scalp and wash your scalp so now that we've completed everything I like to go back in those boxes where I made them a little bit bigger and crochet hair within those boxes I typically don't do more than two or three within that box just depending on how much I need to fill in yeah, you would just crochet this hair in just regular um, taking the crochet hair and pulling it through the loop So that is it. That is pretty much how I do my individual crochet faux locks. And as you can see, everything looks full and seamless. I didn't link or I didn't show you guys exactly the hair that I use, but I definitely will leave that down in the description bar for the hair, the curly hair that I use, as well as the hair that I use for her ends. And lastly, of course, as a final touch, I like to go ahead and do their edges or making sure those look very very nice and after that everything is complete so these crochet locks are so versatile you can wear them up down they're very very lightweight um, you're able to wear them all up and then not feel like a ton of bricks are on your head because the hair is so light versus the original method the original um, faux lock method this hair is very, very light, and again, they last just as long as the regular faux locks, so I wouldn't have it any other way. So, yes, thank you guys so much for watching, and definitely check in the description bar for all of the links to my social medias, as well as my website for booking. I am in the Atlanta area, so yes, all of that information will definitely be in the description bar, so other than that, I thank you guys so much for watching this video and bear with me with my voice because I am a little sick. So, 
yes other than that thank you guys so much for watching and i will talk to you guys later